There's the border. Well, here I am. The start of the start of another long trail, a new adventure. Um, just got in, got into San Diego, then took a bus slash tram to El Cajon, then took a bus to Campo. Somehow I got stuck with him. Oh yeah. And uh, of course I'll be putting up more videos as I go. So stay tuned for that. For now. The border. Just had a helicopter fly over earlier. There's where we're going. Here's the trail, and then way over here, I think. There's some people hiking. Hey everybody, it is day two on the trail, and I'm around mile 30, so it's been about 15 miles a day on the trail so far. Which is, it's actually a lot easier to do miles than it is on the beginning of the AT, but I still kind of want to take it easy, and I'm still feeling it pretty hard, so. This is where I'll be camping tonight. This is actually the first running water I've seen so far. The trail is up there, kind of where that rock is in the middle. And, uh. It's been pretty awesome so far. Really cool scenery. Had some helicopters fly by a couple times last night, which was weird. This is what my feet look like after hiking all day, even in shoes. And actually, there goes a plane right now. But yeah. Hey everybody, figured I'd do a little quick update here. And this is the scene from the trail so far. This has been a lot of what it's been looking like. Just wide open mountain ranges. And it may look like trees, but it's actually all shrubs, mostly. Kind of like a chaparral desert. And uh, I've noticed PCT likes to skirt the ridges. It never really goes all the way up to the ridges, but it does follow right along. And you can see where the trail was, right there. And that's kind of been the theme of the whole trail so far, is that you can kind of look maybe three miles ahead and see where you're going. It's pretty cool. Just a little update.
A taste of what's to come. Big pine cone. You can tell this area has been burned fairly recently, I'd say at least within a year or less, probably much less. And it's all burnt. On the upside though, there are quite a few really nice flowers through here. Hey guys, well I'm back. supply there I just stopped in got a tiny bit of food to make it to the next town and got a nice meal and headed out again and uh, check out this view it's pretty pretty awesome it's pretty amazing how fast the transition is from shrubs to just pretty much desert here it's pretty cool I'm sure I'll be heading through this soon enough and uh, my foot's feeling not so great right now. I think my plan is to try to get to the next town and maybe stop for a day or two and let it heal back up. Not sure what it is, but it's like a long bruise along the left side of my left foot. So, not the best thing. Hopefully it'll clear up in town. Probably soak my foot in some Epsom salt or something like that. Anyways, hope you're enjoying. It's an old car. about 56 miles in here and getting ready to set up camp here is the view and this is what camp looks like tonight. Pretty cool. Can't wait to go to sleep now. I'll see you later. Might be snakeish. Right. I think it's the end of day five or maybe six here on the PCT. And it has been pretty awesome. It's been really hot today, but I'm sure it's going to get hotter, so probably shouldn't complain about that. Uh, it's been, I mean, the views here are pretty insane, even out here in these semi. 
my desert areas, you can just see forever. You can see exactly where the trail's going, and it's constant views. It's pretty cool. Water has been pretty scarce, but I think it's actually about to get even more scarce, so we'll see how that goes. As of now, I've been packing around three to four liters out for most water caches or supplies. There really aren't many flowing water places like the AT has. A lot of them are either caches or water is dropped off there by a fire truck or something like that. It's kind of weird. A lot less water out here. And another thing that's kind of disconcerting is you can't just walk somewhere to find water like you would on the AT because there's really no water anywhere. But other than that, I think my foot's getting a little better. It feels a lot better. And uh, it's been great so far. One cool thing for any of you that have been to Katahdin and more specifically the Chimney Pond side of things, this looks exactly like the Chimney Pond side of Katahdin. Chimney Pond would be down here somewhere and Katahdin up here. This would be Knife Edge coming down to Pomola and this would be like the Cathedral Trail, Saddle Trail over here. Really cool. This is Granite Mountain. I think it's around like 5,600 feet high. So it's pretty much on par with Katahdin. Really cool. Kind of found Katahdin in a different land. But anyways, I'll keep the updates coming. So see you later.